Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, yay, and it's the 13th of March, 2020. So, let's just quickly go forward and as we move forward in through the weekend, right, <clears throat> with all the chaos and the fear being ignited throughout the whole masses, it's best to remember if you can, to remember that no one has ever really died of a disease because the disease is the fear that is being placed upon us by all of that which is going on in the universe right now. <clears throat> and this is the actual, the disease is the fear and that fear disconnects us from the energy that would that would ultimately realign us, our chakras, our energy, right? So if you're going to hold on to the fear, and and it's going it's going to end up in a place somewhere within your energy energetic field, right, in your body, <clears throat> where your inner being can't realign. So. Kind of think about that when you are watching, you know, hours upon hours of TV that is constricting you and clearly giving all fear-based mentality of what's unknown, prevention of boosting your immune system is all about raising your vibration into a vibration of love within yourself, right? Just try to do that and realign your chakras and your body <clears throat> with, within yourself through the breath, inhaling and exhaling of love, as I spoke about the other day, as well as understanding that the actual dis-ease that you're feeling is the fear that is trying to be ignited within us all, right? So if you don't allow it, it cannot, over, we can overcome it if you don't allow it, okay? So let's see what the messages for the collective for today, Friday the 13th. I officially announced that today is, and always will be the 13th, is a day of luck and healing. The Three of Pentacles. So let's look at our life working together in conjunction with the idea that to connect with others through the time of tragedies is more important and to realign yourself and yourself will help align and realign others. Working together, work together to do this, right? Because whatever is feared is just fear of the unknown. And here sits the Queen of Wands in reverse. Here she is upright, okay? But the reason why she's reversed is because the way that she's going to stand the way that she is going to, the feminine energy is going to work together on her own self to realign herself. And through that, through that experience, re realigning the chakras, right? The first three chakras being your base chakra, your sacral, your root, your sacral, and your solar. I'm taking these as the three chakras that are most important for us to realign ourselves right now. What does that mean? <clears throat> it means if you need to rest, get grounded and take a nap, right? Ground yourself, your stability and security right now, your foundation is most important because we are going to be coming into the energetic field of the planet Mars where it's all about reestablishing a strong foundation of self, self-initiation, if you will. 
the Queen of Wands is doing that right now. Being able to set boundaries, <clears throat> be creative, uh, feeling creativity, getting ready to create, looking out into the universe to see what exactly that means to this energetic field of personal power and expansion. This will allow the growth of one's self-esteem to raise their vibration within these three chakras. <clears throat> Self-initiation, okay? Work on self. To know thyself. Okay, so the king of pentacles comes to us, but this king of pentacles is talking to the children, the wise one who talks to the children about what? About stabilizing their future and their foundation as well. But through the example that the, that the king of pentacle leads with, Look at the reversed, right? This is a wise soul who also is not only wise, but loyal to his craft. So this energetic field is being loyal to your craft, <clears throat> aligning all the chakras, and using yourself as setting the example for others to be to be learning from, to gain the wisdom that the King of Pentacles is going to emit in, out into the world, as well as the Queen of Wands. You are the depiction of the example. Set the example and you be, you set the stage for the learning curves of the next generation to come. And by doing so, <clears throat> excuse me, aligning your chakras in the initiation of self, beginning with the root chakra. The root chakra is the basis on which the building gets built on, right? Your inner and outer. So lead by example. Set your boundaries. Feed your inner um, self with purifying foods and staying away from too much, right? Setting the example and not watching hours upon hours of social media and fear-based mentality because your kids are watching what you do. So you're here to set, set the example. This is a mother and a father setting the example for their children, for the next generation. So when you align yourself accordingly, and you initiate your chakras and align your chakras, this will show others how to do the same, right? Because this is what society wants you to be feeling. Not feeling even, I, I digress. Thinking, thinking, thinking. The fear mentality is where this lies. This is where it lies. So let's bury the hatchet, bury the fear of the death of what is the most important thing in life, which is love. So let's bury that fear with the knowledge that you have that negativity breeds fear. Doubt breeds fear. Do not bury your heart. Lift your heart up and start working on yourself. Start working on yourself. From the ground up. From the ground up. This is your chakras. Again, same story. Build yourself up so that your heart can heal from whatever it's going through, from cycles, you know, bury the hatchet of the cycles continuing of constantly doing the same thing, different day, right? Change it up because that's going to help you to change everything and build your knowledge and power 
within you that you're capable of so that you can establish a good foundation for the future generations to come. This is our service. This is what we belong here to do. Working on the self, healing the self of whatever needs to be healed. Let's do that so that nothing is feared except fear itself. Okay, this is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups comes in to say what? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and start realigning yourself in a new way, on a new platform of power, personal power. Taking back your personal power, forgiving yourself of whatever heartbreaks, the past, the past, that has not healed, forgive it and let it go and, and let it die. And what is that? Those are the beliefs of how you used to run, you know, the show, right? How you used to believe things had to work out, what, your, what you grew up thinking, what you still think, and what the same thing, doing the same thing over and over again, over and over, just keeps keeps giving you the same result. So with forgiveness, you can walk away from them from that mentality, their swords, and work on yourself to heal by going within and learning from learning from those who have come before us, right? Learning from the ones that, the gurus that you have believed in your life, in your life, the ones that you study. If you don't have any, start looking them up. There are many, there are many gurus. It doesn't have to be Gandhi or Osho or or whoever, be your own guru by learning and by following the light of the way and the truth of the way of yourself. With hope, have hope. Climb the mountain and, and do the work, okay? And it is an important message. That's why it's coming out like it is. We are now at a time where we are initiating ourselves into a new paradigm of, of understanding and a new way clearing out all of the old belief systems and negative thoughts and what society makes you fear the most is fear itself. Fear that the actual death is going to be the heart. It's the heart. But the heart never really dies. But the universe is telling you the heart is not the part that dies. The part that dies is that needs to die off are the beliefs. These are the swords. Those are the way you think. And it's holding you back. What's being asked of you here on this side and here on that side of the spectrum, which is called balance, is to realign your chakras now, go within, do the work, and have, and have the knowledge and the wisdom to move forward with empowering yourself. That will teach others and show others how they can do that for themselves as well. Here we have the magician. The magician is reversed. Why? Because the magician is waiting to manifest and manifestation will happen as we turn the card around. It's going to happen. But what is being asked right now is for this realignment so that our energies can come together in union, communion with 
the self. It begins with the self, the knowledge, the wisdom. And that's how you will manifest after you have realigned. You see his, his cloak. This is the violet ray of consciousness. This is clarity. This is truth. This is the crown chakra. And this is what you're building. You're building yourself up from the three of pentacles starting at the root and you're getting to the crown. Do you see that? So by building and changing what needs to be changed, which is in smack dab in the middle is the three of swords. That needs to be changed. What you listen to, what you watch, what you believe, these things have to change. The old paradigms of what what you once believed or grew up believing, that needs to change in order to build and realign your chakras and gain strength and gain knowledge, knowledge with and through forgiveness. This will enable you to bring your energy levels back up to a manifestation, to the manifestation of whatever it is now that you bring to the table. Now you bring to the table the wisdom and the self-empowerment with and through the grounding, going through each chakra and clearing it, clearing them all from the base to the crown. That's how we will realign and get back into a semblance of order within your body structure, which will ultimately project itself out to the universe. I will get three cards from the John Holland Oracle deck here to just give us an Oracle message. Whatever the universe wants to give us. Here we go. We are balancing our chakras. Do you see the angels helping? All the angels, all the archangels, all your spirit guides are here for the asking. All it takes is for you to just ask for help if you need any help in aligning your chakras. You can Google an archangel. You can Google the ascended masters. They each have a purpose and a place. As above, so below. It's over here, sorry. As above, so below. Ask and you shall receive. If there's something that you need, if you need my help, you can contact me. I know the archangels and the ascended masters. Not personally, but yes, personally. The past now is being cleared out. The new order of business is being balanced. This is a number six card. This is a number six card. Do you see? We are balancing out ourselves. We are realigning our energetic field to, to get out of this mentality. We're getting out of this now. It's time. The universe says it's time. We're all healing. Mother Earth is healing. Mother Earth is purifying. We are elevating ourselves into a new structure. And it begins with self. As Mother Earth heals, we are healing. And vice versa. Through forgiveness, through the love and the light. Through the love and the light and the truth that it holds together. One more, please. Here it is. Fear is what's holding you back. It is the disease. Go toward the light. Be the light. Get balanced. Get back your power. Get back your energy. Clear your chakras. It's time now. It's time for us all to remain Calm, take precautions necessary, of course. 
Should you wash your hands? Well, I mean, come on, right? Washing your hands is something that we haven't we been doing that for for eons? Have we forgotten to purify our system? And that includes watching whatever you watch on TV, what you eat, what you watch, what you allow yourself to hear, to listen to, to believe. That's putting you down. That's what's putting you down. God is asking you to get the knowledge and the wisdom from within yourself. We all have it. We all came here to this earth for it, with it. The love that we have here needs to be revived, revived and, re and, and realigned. No kidding. This is a self-initiation. It is time now for all of us to take power back and don't let the other fear in the, ma the masses control you because no one controls you but, but yourself and love. It's a huge message today because of what's going on, clearly. Let's ask the Ascended Masters and the Archangels. I'm going to take however many want to come out. This, These wanted to come out immediately. Green Tara says, we have extreme protection. We are protected and not only that are we protected, but we are then protecting Mother Earth. You are protected. Cords are being cut right here. Here's the cords, they're being cut. Move beyond limitations and trust. So as you are realigning, so is Mother Earth, because we are one, we are connected, we're family. The White Eagle is our ancestors coming through to say, connect with your lineage, to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. This is what this is being healed. This is from the ages, I'm telling you. This is the our ancestors from the ages coming to you our, our guides, our, our angels, our ascended masters, the, all of the archangels are here to help raise and realign your, your chakras, clearing yourself, shielding it with protection, which we have from the universe. But if you need protection, Archangel Michael is the Archangel of Protection. Ask for Archangel Michael to protect you and your family, to shield you with the white light and the blue light of protection. White and blue. And when you get that protection, then you can understand you get realigned and your power comes back within. And these can be healed. And then in turn, that heals lineages ancestral lineages of hundreds and thousands of years. We are here to do this job. So this is not only for, this is for obviously for the goodness and for humanity, but it, but this resides even further. This goes back to years of, years of healing that needs to take place on mother earth. Okay. If you need any help in understanding the chakras, realigning your chakras, clearing your chakras, please contact me. I am a biofeedback practitioner. I have my computer and I can do all the clearing that needs to be done in your chakras. I do sound healing and many other things. But most importantly, this is about you caring about you and knowing that as long as you realign your chakras within, 
and you have the knowledge and the wisdom and the power to understand that fear is the only thing that is the disease. So fear is fearing itself. Have a great weekend.